Good morning everyone. Hope you all are fine and safe. I am Ashwini. Welcome to ICT class. Today we will see an overview of computer. So before going to the overview, we will see what is a computer now. So what is a computer? Computer is an electronic machine that accepts input, processes them and provide output. Next we will see how computer works. So computer works based on input process output cycle. So what does this input process output cycle means? So this input is the data or instruction that we give to the system. So this input is provided with the help of the devices called input devices. Can you able to see the input devices beside me? So what is this? It is a keyboard which provides input to the system. Then can you able to see the mouse? Mouse is used to point things that is appearing on the screen. So the next input device which I am going to show is a touchpad. So this touchpad is generally used in a laptop which is used similar to mouse. If you want to provide input in the form of sound, so how do we provide it? So that can be done with the help of input device mic. So this mic is used to provide the input in the form of sound. In CPU that is the central processing unit which is also called the brain of the computer we have memory. So this memory it is used to store the work that we do. Okay. So this memory it is of two type one is internal memory the other one is external memory. So this internal memory it is a temporary one that is it does not stay for a long time whereas the external memory is a permanent one. So what is the temporary memory that we have is a random access memory that is RAM. So what is the external memory that we have that those are hard drives, CD disk, floppies and pen drives etc. So this hard drive is readily available in our system whereas this pen drive, CDs are all we need to externally connect it. So children can you able to see hard disk? So this hard disk is used to store large amount of data whereas if you want to store some small amount of data what we use we go for CD and pen drive. Next we will see what are the output devices. So this output devices is used to display the output that we get ok. So here can you able to see the monitor. So monitor is a mo output devices which is used to display the output. Next can you able to see printer. So printer is also one of the output devices that we use. So children when you are listening to music how do we get a output? So we get it through speaker. So this speaker is also one of the output device. Next we will see what are the hardware and software. So hardware. Hardware are the physical components that are associated to the computer. So as we have seen earlier hardwares are the input devices, output devices and storage devices are called hardware. So children software, software are the set of instruction that are used to perform some specific task. So have you ever heard the word called windows, operating system, MS office. So these are the software that we use in our day to day life. So as I told earlier CPU it is called brain of the computer. So why we say it is a brain of the computer? It performs most of the operation that our brain do. Okay, so say one by one. So in CPU we have several components like motherboard and integrated chips and CPU. So these are the components that make us to function like our brain. So first we will see motherboard. So this motherboard is a base which connects all our peripherals that is all our devices to our system. So the next is the fan. So this fan is used to sink the heat that produces by the system. So this is a CPU that is the central processing unit which performs all the operation that we do. And the second one is hard disk drive. So this drive is used to insert the hard disk that we have. And these are the CD drive which is used to insert our CD. So as I have told earlier CPU is called brain of the computer. So why we call it as brain of the computer? It perform most of the operation that our brain do. So what our brain do? It first control and coordinates all the parts of our body. And then second 
we can keep some memory in our brain that is the situation that we face come across will be stored in our brain as a memory so the third one is our brain has the ability to perform arithmetic operation as also we can able to do some logical thinking also so these all these abilities are there in computer also so for that we have divided into so many components so what are they we'll see so the first one is control unit the second one is memory unit and the third one is arithmetic and logic unit so this control unit decide which inputs to we need to take and when to take it controls and coordinates overall function of our computer system second one is memory unit so as i've explained before this memory unit is used to store the work that we do so this memory memory is of two type one is the internal and external as i've explained before so this internal memory is a temporary one whereas the external memory is a permanent one so if you want to store our work permanently in our system then we'll store it in a external memory so the last part is arithmetic and logic unit if you are going to do some arithmetic operation some logic operation then this part is used in cpu so we'll see in a overview now so consider if you want to do addition of two numbers so what we give we give the input to the system so what the system do it sends it to the processor so this processor has three parts so first control unit decide whether to accept input or not so it is accepting input and input is then moved to the alu unit since we want to perform addition so it is moved to alu unit so this alu performs it and it sends to the memory so it is permanently stored in our system so after that it get displayed using our output devices so this is what the overview of a computer so we'll see what are the limitations of the computer as i told before the computer can work similar to human it is only similar to human but we human have the ability to think we have the ability to create our own ideas but whereas the computer is after all a machine it cannot do all these things so these are the limitations of computer so computer cannot think number one second one is it cannot create its own ideas so we have to give instructions step by step so after that only it can perform based on the instruction so children that's all about the overview of a computer i hope everyone have understood it So kindly go through your text. We'll see you in the next class.